Hello everyone, welcome back for another video tutorial. This is video tutorial number four, okay, for the introduction of Flutter um, development environments. Now, um, we have done so far, the uh, we introduced how do we put text, okay, as the chai inside the container so that we can control the padding and the color, okay. If you just care about the padding, then you can draft that text in the padding widgets. But now, because we would like to apply both padding and margins, that's why we have the text as the child of the container widgets. Okay, good. Uh, the next step is, as you can see now, we are talking about only a single child. What if I would like to have a multiple child, okay, in this direction, in the vertical direction? So that means I need something in the column manner. Do we have widget like that? Yes, we do. So go ahead now, what I'm going to do is just go from scratch. So let's take this off. So for the home now, so we are going to introduce another widget called column. So you don't need to worry about putting news again because now they know that we are creating the new object called uh, object for the class columns. But uh, for other way, just take the new off. That's understand about this, okay? Now in here, we need to specify not a child anymore because we need more than one um, UI right here as students. Okay, so not child, but we have student. Now in the student, whenever you specify um, a multiple item here, just um, we call that this is a list value in DAS, the ART DAS is a language that we are working right now. You have to use square brackets to denote that this is the collection of something. Okay, so shouldn't now we have a list of something? Now the list of something that we're talking about is basically the multiple text like this. So go ahead and I'm gonna have the text widget. Okay, another text widget and another text widget. And then for each widget here, I can put positional um, parameters, which is just the contents of the text, like um, one, two, and three. So this one, you have three different lines. And if I refresh this, you expect to see that in the previous example, we only have a single child for container. Now I take the container off and I replace it with column. See what happened. Just restart it. Okay, so now you can see that we have three different text lays in these directions, okay? And you can see that now that column here is the parents that contain students, and we have three different texts as students. And this is how you specify um, the layout designs that contain a multiple item of something else, okay? Now, sometimes you can see that it's also put this, um, the triangular bracket here, and then they put the word widgets here, just to let you know that that's the way that you can control what widgets would be inside the collection. So for example, I cannot put things like um, the number directly here because this is not the object belong to the class widget. Okay, I cannot put text because this one is not belong to the class widget. But the reason that it's around text is because the text widgets inherited from this class. If you remember OOP, okay, so the parent class, okay, uh, if you inherit from it, then it's working. Now, okay, so that's the column way. I can also control the way this one um, display in these directions. We call uh, main axis alignment. Okay, so if I put main axis alignment name parameter here for the value, I can use the constant main axis alignment dot, um, let's say n. Let's go for n first. So with the n, and put the comma here just to make sure that it's there and I refresh it now the program should show um, this one at the end of your screen see now imagine that this column this column is the child of material app so we have an empty box as the material app and now the column is trying to organize all the children of this guy at the end of the material app so that's the theme you can also say that, okay, instead of the end, what about things like center? So is this working? Let's try to see if this is working. Okay, so now that means this guy can go and go ahead and show it in the center uh, in center alignment. 
I can go over a couple more things like uh, space evenly here and that means uh, the application will try their best to distribute the area so that if we have three of this it's going to divide this into 33% of each one of the item okay so this is the use of main access alignment it's also have another name property called cross access alignment we will visit this later on okay now you can see that if we have columns what about things in the x direction manner we call them row so now instead of using column here i'm gonna say row and then do the same thing and you can expect to see that this one will be organized into these directions instead of in y direction we have it in x directions okay which is correct and because of this control now that is trying to distribute this in this manner equally if i go for things like n as you can see now that it's going to redistribute this to the end toward the end of these directions okay all right so that I think good enough for this video tutorial. So this video tutorial tell you how can you work with uh, the multiple child, which is we call students inside another uh, parents. Okay, so and in the next video tutorial, we will put together several things, and then we are going to create the what we call the uh, minimal structure that at least show the app bar. Okay, so and then things that we don't have to go over and refresh um, restart the application anymore whenever you apply changes you can put hot reload i'll see you in the next video tutorial thank you